Hey everybody, Timmy Fire Scott here, reminding you about this awesome group on Facebook that is very passionate about Flyers Hockey. And that group is Flyers Extreme. Flyers Extreme is a Facebook group with a, a lot of passionate Philadelphia Flyers fans. Passionate fans like me. In fact, I am one of the owners of the group as well. So if you're looking for a Facebook a Facebook group that's full of passionate Philadelphia Flyers fans, then I suggest you check out Flyers Stream on Facebook. One of the best Flyers Facebook one of the best Flyers Facebook groups on Facebook. So make sure you check it out. And join Flyers to stream today. If you haven't joined yet, what are you waiting for? Let's go Flyers. And let's go stream with Flyers to stream. Only on Facebook. Hey everybody. Best of luck to the Philadelphia Phillies. And all the great Philadelphia Phillies fans. In the World Series. From me. Timmy Flyers guy. Let's go Phillies. Hey everybody. It's me. Timmy Flyers guy, and welcome to this week's edition of the Orange, Black, and Purple pregame report. I'm your host, Timmy Flyers guy. Tonight, all three teams will be in action: the Philadelphia Flyers, the Lehigh Valley Phantoms, and the Reading Royals. Before we get to all that, let's do a recap. When we last left off, the Philadelphia Flyers. We're in action against the Toronto Maple Leafs at Scotiabank Arena. The Flyers got the first goal, as it was Joel Farabee who got the Flyers on the board first, giving the Flyers a 1 0 lead. Quickly after that, Toronto scored two goals, taking a 2 1 lead going into the second period. And then after that, the, the Toronto Maple Leafs took a 3 1 lead. In the second period, the Flyers are able to narrow the gap with a goal by Owen Tippett on the power play. Quickly after that, Toronto scored scored two goals, giving Toronto a 5-2 victory over the Philadelphia Flyers. The Philadelphia Flyers' losing streak continues as they lost three in a, three in a row. The Philadelphia Flyers will be in action tonight as they take on the Ottawa Senators in Ottawa, Ontario. The Philadelphia Flyers will be looking to get a win. They haven't had one in a while. It's been three games. Three, it's been three games since they got a win. Tonight the Flyers will have to have to, the Flyers will have their work cut out for them. As they faced off against a new look Ottawa Senators led by Claude Giroux, a former Philadelphia Flyer. It's going to be a very emotional game for the Philadelphia Flyers. I was going to do a special video about Claude Giroux, but I've decided to wait for the game when they face off against the Ottawa Senators on November 12th. So when Giroux comes to Philly, that's when I'll have a special video package to Claude Giroux. The Flyers fell 5-2, and unfortunately Sandstrom was the one who got the loss. Tough loss for Sandstrom. But the Flyers will be looking to get back in the winning track as they face off tonight against the Ottawa Senators. Meanwhile, the Lehigh Valley Phantoms were in action last night as they faced off against the Belleville Senators. The Lehigh Valley Phantoms Got off to a slow start, giving up two goals on the first. Giving up two goals. 
In the second period, it was the fan of the first period, as Belleville, Belleville was outplayed defensively in the second. In the third period, Belleville got a third goal, giving Belleville three nothing lead in the third period, the beginning of the third period. The Lehigh Valley Phantoms tried their best to come back, as it was Ollie McSell who got his first goal as the Lehigh Valley Phantom, coming to lead to 3 to 1. And shortly after that, it was Jackson Case who cut the lead in half, with a 3 cut the lead in half, making a 3 2 lead. The Lehigh Valley Phantoms were in desperation mode as they pulled the goalie, but unfortunately, Matt Sogard and the Belleville Senators held the Phantoms off to get a 3-2 victory over the Lehigh Valley Phantoms. It was a much better effort for the Lehigh Valley Phantoms, but they need a better start if they want to start winning games. The Phantoms have been having a lot of trouble, but it was good to see Ollie, Ollie McStell and Jackson Cates get on the board for the Lehigh Valley Phantoms. Tonight they'll be in action as they take on the affiliates of the Montreal Canadiens, the Laval Rocket, today at 3 p.m. As the Phantoms' road trip continues. The Phantoms will be looking to maybe get a win today. Maybe that can happen. We'll see. Meanwhile, the Reading Royals were in action last night as they faced off against the Wheeling Nailers. The Wheeling Nailers got off to an early start, giving the Wheeling Nailers a 1-0 lead. Shortly after that, the Wheeling Nailers then took a 2-0 two, two lead. The, lead, the Reading Royals were able to get on the board with a goal by Charlie Gerard. The Reading Royals fell to the Wheeling Nailers 2-1. The Reading Royals will be in action tonight once again as they take on the Wheeling Wheeling Nailers at Santander Arena. The Reading Royals will be looking to get their elusive second win, second win of the season as they face off against the Wheeling Nailers. I'm Kimmy Flyers Guy, and this has been your Orange, Black, and Purple pregame report. Let's go Flyers! Let's go Phantoms! And let's go Royals.